<laughs> foam cushion at my service, huh? <laughs> it's nice this morning. It is. It's a little chilly. Mid-30s, but it's nice. Ice skimming the tops of all the cat water bowls. But not so hard. I had to dump it all and start from scratch. You know, it doesn't get dirty very quick in the winter time. Hi, Tux. Are things suiting you this morning? Watch out, Slate. Because you know what he does. Paper. Yeah. Sunday. That's right. No mail, though. No mail. I'm sorry. I, every time I come up that hill, I always think... How much easier it is for this thing to go up that hill. <laughs> yeah, Don was going to cancel the paper. I'm tired of walking out there every morning. <laughs> I didn't see Morris this morning, but I saw Stripe. But we'll be around more today. I'll pay attention. I'll go a couple extra trips up there, see if I can't lay my eyes on him. Yeah. Stay tuned for some exciting car washing adventure. That's right back up here to spend a little more time with stripe I haven't been back in the house yet and um unfortunately no sign of morris this morning which doesn't mean anything and i'll be looking like i said i don't want to startle my buddy by calling him or going to the door but um he often panther jumps up there by the um, gas grill in the mornings when the sun is over there and just enjoys him a little sunshine and he seems to be doing good today. Hi sleeping beauties. Hi. Oh no. I'm back up here because I saw Morris and I wanted to put more food out. Morris is over there. I don't know if you can see him or not. But now <clears throat> somebody showed up over here that I'm going to have to remove from the area. Well, at least I'm up here to handle it. Before Don gets busy washing Ruby and then Jules, which Hopefully. you are planning to try to do both this afternoon, um, he brought me down here to the environmental yeah. park and we're going to circle South Park because I'm not feeling so good today. Yeah, she's having a down day. Yeah, I don't have a fever and um, I don't have any congestion. I, I do not believe in any way it's COVID related. Oh, I, I, I think yeah. it might be my Lyme disease um, symptoms acting up, I think. Yeah. The cold weather is kind of bitter here. Seems like every winter this happens yeah. um, in the January, February time frame. So yeah. um, anyway, Don's driving me around for a minute because it just didn't feel like going off in Ruby by myself and plus he's gonna wash her so we don't want to stop progress <laughs> no we don't want to do that there's <laughs> quite a few people up here today yeah, mostly walking around the uh, the walking track and mm, um, a lot of people yeah I might say 20 upwards people? of 20 yeah. yep 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 a few with dogs a few walking a few running a few on the playground some girls here practicing soccer with them um, yeah on. yep well it's not that warm it's 54, Ruby says. Don's getting everything set up. He's got on three layers. Yeah. Hopefully he won't get wet. Ruby is up first. I've got everything set up. The time lapse going so we can see some Don washing the car video. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, Ruby's pretty dirty. She really needs mm -hmm. some, some help. But, you know, it's hard to get out here and do a hand wash at home in the winter. Don has had to, um, you know, he had to take in the real hose for the for the winter, and 50 something is really not as warm as would be desired for washing the car, but better than 30 something. That's right. Don says the water in the bucket is warm water. No sense freezing your hand off. I said that's good. I walk to the mailbox. I have Gray and Slate keeping me company. It won't be too long. We'll have a couple of warm days and they'll pop open the daffodils. Don blew Ruby with the blower to get off the extra water. And now he says he's making my windows look pretty. So when I film through the window, it looks right. I always tell him not to put any product on the inside of the windows, 
but if he wanted to wipe them down with just a damp rag, that would probably be okay. That, that inside of the front window, hint, hint, is pretty dirty. <laughs> I'm sitting here in the sun, keeping Dawn company. She's over there looking pretty. <laughs> reading them a couple of funny things off of Facebook, trying to stay away from all that stressful stuff on Facebook. Stay away from that, please. <laughs> we have enough anxiety from stuff local. We don't need the national... Anxiety, anxiety. yep. Yeah, we. Well, you gotta wipe her all down because, you know, Kitten, she would be doing all this if she felt up to it. Yep. So I'm, I'm not the, quite the... I'm kind of dizzy, so rubbing stuff and up and down is not, you know, really the best of ideas at the moment. Yeah, even guys that are six foot tall need a step stool to uh, reach all the important spots on the Model X when you're washing. Yeah. Yeah. I might add we sort of need the step stool for the van and the GMC too, but yeah. <laughs> the Model X also qualifies. And look, and look at the voluminous frunk on the Model X. I mean, seriously, that is definitely a four or five paper Whole Foods bag sized frunk. Shopping girl's dream. Seriously, all the fragile stuff, all the smelly stuff up front. And just waiting on them to heat it and cool it if, de it if cool. desired so that you can keep your groceries in there in the summer. And you can keep your takeout there in the winter. <laughs> Don's cleaning up for the day. Going to do Jules maybe tomorrow. So yeah. enough cold water on his hands. My, my hands are really, really cold. Well, Ruby looks much, much, much better. So hopefully I'm better tomorrow and I get to enjoy driving her. That's the plan. That's the important I need part. to go to PetSmart for cat food so either I drive myself up there or Don's gonna have to drive me one of the two. Yeah, but you be styling when you go. Exactly.